Hey guys, this is Kristen Peoples with BossOfCulture.org. I had to come to you today from my queen's chair because we got to make a chess move right now, guys. We got to make a chess move because I see one of our fellow targets is in trouble. And when I see that a fellow target of workplace bullying abuse is in trouble, you know I got to step in. You know I got to step in and I'm, I'm going to always come to you guys with real information, with tried and true tactics that have worked for me, strategies that have worked for me and other uh, targets of workplace abuse, how they too have overcome. So what I'm speaking specifically about is that someone went out on mental health leave only to come back for their employer to put them on some type of performance review or probation. So what do you do when you're faced with that? Okay, so let, let's just take a step back. You are a target of workplace bullying abuse and you can't take it anymore. So you decide to take advantage of the benefits that you're given and to go out on leave to take care of yourself. Well, the employer, they see that as a threat, right? You're already, you're already a threat from day one because you're a target, right? We've already been through that. And if you haven't watched my videos on um, as to why you are a target of workplace bullying abuse, I suggest you you check that out because, and, and just to sum that up, you're a target of workplace bullying abuse because of professional jealousy. You know what you're doing and the people that are, are targeting you, they have some issues within themselves that need to be resolved. But since they're in a position of power, they can take those positions of power and bully or attack you. So now that we've gotten that out the way, how do you protect yourself in this instance? How do you protect yourself if you are going out on leave to take care of yourself? Because trust me, I did it a few times, right? So I've been there and I've done that. Well, what I did with my doctors was I did not want my employer knowing my business. So every time he went to put down anxiety and depression on the reason why I took off of work, I asked him to please leave you know, that information personal. I did not want to share that with my employer because I feel that even though you should be kind of open and honest as to why you're taking off, it is really no one's business why you're taking off. You know, um, all you need is a doctor's excuse. And if your doctor is taking you off of work, your doctors are qualified doctors, I'm sure. Um, most of them are. And they can simply say that you needed to be off of work for medical reasons. So they can only, they, they are not required to give the specific reason as to why you are off of work. So that's issue number one. If you are telling your employer or your manager or your fellow coworkers that you are taking off of work to go on stress leave, what do you think, what signal do you think that you are sending to that company? Just honestly think about that. If you were a CEO of a company or owner of a company, you would be thinking, okay, this person is building a case against our company because something's going on within the department or whatever. And even though it's not your fault, you're putting your company or you're putting this company on the defense. So, of course, they're going to attack you in that way. So what do you do going forward? Well, you need to immediately speak with an employment attorney. An employment attorney will let you know what is your, what your next move needs to be. As with every move, when it comes to workplace bullying abuse, you do not walk around and broadcast that you feel like you're being targeted. You know that you're being targeted, make sure that you're documenting this information, but be careful who you share this information with because there are a lot of people that are looking to move up in a company and they don't care who they step on to get to where they need to go. So I'm saying all this to say, protect yourself not only in the way of documentation, but keep your doctor's records private. You do not have to disclose this information. Take off work. Now, when you are taking off work because you need a mental break and you know that you're being bullied and abused at work, that is a time that you need to be also taking to reach out to an employment attorney, right? You need to put all your ducks in a row. Once you are a target of workplace bullying abuse, you guys, it only gets worse. It doesn't get any better. So if you think that you're going to go out on leave, you're going to come back and it's going to be better, no, it's going to actually be worse because that same exact thing happened to me. I went out on leave a couple of times without even disclosing the reason why I was going out on leave, but 
People put two and two together. They know how they're treating you. And nine times out of 10, they know that you're not dumb. So continue to play the chess game because in the end, in the end, you want to protect yourself. You want to make sure that you're not the one out there in the wind because you were trying to be 100% open and honest with people who could care less about you, to be honest with you. So again, do not waste precious time. Do not waste precious energy. Do not waste your health. Try to stick in with an employer that could care less about you. And I have to give it to you straight because, you know, we all want people to change, right? We all try to hope for the best. But we have to be realistic here. You have to be realistic. And for me, I lived in a fantasy land for, again, almost a decade, hoping that my these my tormentors is what I called them at one time. But I actually called them my blessings in disguise at this point in my life because they actually moved me to where I needed to be. And that's another thing I wanted to touch on real quick as well, is that your rejection in your life can be your protection. So these things are happening to you because this is not where you're supposed to be. Ultimately, God has a better plan for you. And until you understand that you're worthy of that beautiful plan that God has for you, you are going to continue to be tormented in this job that you're hanging on to. So word to the wise, get an employment attorney as soon as you go on leave. Speak with someone. If one person can't help you, one attorney can't help you, there's more than one attorney in town. Keep calling and calling. That's what I had to do until I got the help that I needed. So get the, get the help that you need. Get the mental help that you need. And just protect yourself, you guys. But never, ever, ever disclose the reason why you're taking off of work. Okay? So hopefully this helps those out there struggling with that same question and what to do. And how to go about, you know, taking care of yourself. You guys, if you have it within your benefits package to take off of work, by all means, take off. It is your right to take off work. So hopefully, again, this has helped. I'm Kristen Peoples with BossOfCulture.org. Just wanted to stop in real quick to give you some this quick tip. And uh, hopefully it will not only save your, your, your job for now, but also save your life. Until then, I love you. Take care. Bye.